Graeme has uh, just recently become a member of the church and we'd like to welcome you and so that everybody knows Graeme. Thank you all. Dr. Graeme Halen. And uh, so he has come over to, uh, to Nambool here and we would like to offer you the right hand of fellowship. Thanks very much. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Graeme. Thank you. So, we will pray for you, brother. Okay. Father, we do thank you for uh, the fact that Graham has come to join us, and we do pray for him, O Lord God, and ask that uh, he may be uh, uh, one who is able to contribute well to the life of the church here, and that, uh, Lord, that we would uh, indeed show him the love of Christ as our dear brother in the Lord Jesus. And so be with him, and, and Lord, encourage him, I pray, and strengthen him, and may he be an encouragement to us also in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, so for those who are gluten free, there's only four of you because there's no more. Um, <laughs> there's there's some gluten free bread, and if you're not if you're not uh, requiring uh, gluten free bread, please don't. Take them on the skewers and I'll just squish them on a toothpick or something. So, it's uh, four pieces of bread that are gluten free for those who may be gluten intolerant. We're going to give thanks to God. Father, we come to this table now. It is a precious time for us to be reminded again of all that you have done and to reflect upon it and to know, O oh Lord, your blessing in our life. So thank you for this time. We know that this was such a necessary thing for you to do. For without Christ there is no salvation, for there is no salvation in heaven above or on the earth or below the earth, except for the name of Jesus Christ. And he is the one who came and paid the penalty for our sins. We thank you so much that in this time we can meditate and dwell upon it, and our hearts can be lifted up. And Lord, we can realise that uh, we are in your presence, in the new covenant relationship with you through the blood of the Lord Jesus. And Lord, we are, are those who are truly blessed because of all that you have done. And so Lord, be with us each one as we take of this bread and of this wine. And Lord, we are reminded once again of that great sacrifice of Jesus. And as we partake of this time together, may your Holy Spirit be with us, O oh Father, that we would feast as it was upon him spiritually. That this the means of grace would be with each one of us and we would bless this day and you would be glorified in the midst of your people through Jesus our Lord. Amen. So the scripture is such a lovely familiar passage of scripture where the Apostle Paul had to chastise the church because they were doing things wrong and and some had even died in the church because they had, uh, they had disrespected the Lord's Supper. And so he, after, after chastising me, he said, Now this is what I received. I received from the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the same manner, he also took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do you all, as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. So therefore, whosoever shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eats and drinks unworthily, eats and drinks condemnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. So let us pray once again. My Father in heaven, we thank you. Now as we take this, take this moment and we take of this bread and this cup, Lord, we, we have a moment of personal reflection to examine our hearts if we haven't already. 
and to know our Father God that we are here because of your grace and your love and your mercy, not by our own works. Forgive us, we pray, if we have offended you or grieved your Holy Spirit, if we've sinned against you, our Lord and God. Remind us again of the importance of our salvation in Jesus, as each of us now partake of this. The Lord, thank you once again. In Jesus' name. Amen. After supper, Jesus took the bread and he broke it. And he said, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup and according to the institution command and example of our Lord, do the same. And I show you this cup, not the one that Jesus held. But Jesus said this, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. We take the cup and we drink all of it.
we each one have been served, let us share the cup together. that you pay, that price that is paid, and that we are yours because of all that you've done. May we walk in faith and be faithful to you and righteous because of all that you have done, that we, O oh Lord, would be a people who would be holy as you are holy. So Lord, go with each one of us, I pray. Thank you once again for this time. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stand us in praise to our Lord, shall we? Love divine. 449. Love divine or love six seven.
strengthen you, encourage you. May you feel confident in the power of God who overshadows you. And may the love, grace and mercy of God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit rest and dwell and abide with you each one, both now to all eternity, through Jesus Christ our Lord and our Redeemer. Amen. Let's sing our benediction, 220. He is Lord.